Hey, welcome back. Craft beer is big in Texas. Sure, you can visit one of the many breweries in our area, but now the Texas Craft Brewers Guild has a new idea to help small local breweries in our state. And that could also help our state's economy by bringing more tourists to Texas. Caroline Wallace is the executive director of the Texas Craft Brewers Guild. Good morning, Caroline. Morning, y'all. Tell us about the Texas Craft Brewers Guild. What is that? Yeah, the Texas Craft Brewers Guild is a nonprofit trade association representing craft breweries all across Texas, industry suppliers, retailers. So all told, we're about 500 companies that come together to uh, promote uh, advancing craft beer in Texas. Yeah, like 500 countries, com countries, companies. So that's how many breweries approximately that we have in Texas. That's a lot. We've got about 400 breweries in Texas, so um, that's not just breweries and that number, that's um, all the folks that make the brewing industry tick. So we're also talking okay. about folks that supply ingredients, equipment, the retailers that sell the craft beer. So it really is a whole ecosystem in our economy that is um, supported by the craft brewing industry. Oh, nice. Yeah, so you guys have been around for a while to support that industry, but the new program is the Brew City program. What is it? What's the idea? Yeah, the Brew City Texas program is a, an idea to unite um, cities and municipalities across the state in supporting beer tourism and economic development. So folks might be familiar with programs like the Film Friendly Texas program or the Music Friendly Texas program, these mm -hmm. designations that communities can hold to, to show their support for, for industry and, and tourism. And um, we thought it was about time that the craft beer in Texas, it's a big deal, had a, had a program like this. Is this something that would essentially help breweries to stay open? I mean, I know a lot of small breweries have had to close in our area. Would this help with that? Yeah, I think, you know, we're dealing with a, a, a kind of inflection point right now. We're coming out of the pandemic. There have been a lot of forces at play against um, yeah. not just breweries, but the hospitality industry as a whole, right? Rising rents, rising ingredients, rising equipment. So we're kind of seeing a maturing in our industry where we have unfortunately had some closures, but we've also had um, new brewery openings kind of keeping pace. So I think this is coming at a really good time to partner with these cities um, that are used to promoting themselves as tourism attractions and mm -hmm. destinations to make sure that we're really promoting breweries as a core part of that, a community gathering place, an attraction that folks want to come out and visit and get a flavor of that local community. Yeah, what does that look like? Do we mean commercials? Do we uh, events where you might have like a brewery tour? I mean, how, how will you promote them to bring more attention to breweries in Texas? Yeah, the program just launched about two and a half weeks ago. We already have 14 cities on board of, of all oh, wow. sizes across Texas. Um, and every community is coming up with their own unique ideas and what that marketing looks like. Social media, events, advertising. So we're really excited to kind of dig in and see what we can do statewide, but also how each community involved will take on their own unique flavor and, and own ways of promoting their breweries. Yeah, super cool. So what breweries in our area, in the Houston area, are involved right now? Do you know? Yeah, so I'm, uh, the majority of breweries in the state are all part of the guild, but what's unique about this program is actually that the cities join the program. So we've got cities like um, Galveston is involved, um, mm -hmm. Sugarland actually has their first brewery opening uh, later this year, so they've joined. One of the neat things about the program is we actually have a category for cities we're calling emerging brewscapes. So uh -huh. cities are actually looking to attract their first brewery or have that first brewery on the way and are interested in this program um, from an economic development perspective as much as they are from a tourism perspective down the line. So yeah. Um, we've also, yeah. To basically say like, hey, we open up our brewery in your city, your municipality, we can bring in jobs and people to actually travel and go visit all these different breweries. And do you think, do you see that? I mean, are more people traveling or we want them yeah. to travel to go to a brewery or are they sticking with their neighborhood brewery? I think it's a mix of both. You know, this is a big state. We actually have a mobile passport app called Texas Brewery Passport that folks use for just that to plan day trips and weekend trips all across the state. And um, we see a lot of folks that are really motivated to go out and visit breweries. But one of the unique things about Texas is very few breweries sell their beer outside of Texas. Uh -huh. um, so for tourists from out of state, in a lot of ways, we're kind of like a best kept secret when it comes to our beer scene, even though we are, you know, one of the largest uh, states when it comes to craft beer. That's cool. Tell us about that app. Like, how can people find that? Is it free? Repeat the name of it. Yeah, it's called Texas Brewery Passport. It's totally free and it's available um, in the in both app stores for, for um, Apple or Android. Um, and it's fun, it's geo-based, so you can show you our, our closest member breweries near you. You can climb the leaderboard, uh, <laughs> save up for, for rewards and stuff, badges, so it's really fun. Nice, Caroline, so before I let you go, anything that people need to know about joining, like how do they join the program? 
Yeah, if you are involved with a local uh, CBB, Destination Management Organization, your city government, and you think your city might be interested in joining Brew City, uh, please go to our website, TexasCraftBrewersGuild.org. Um, and our brewers have been really powerful in this and, and working with their local folks as well. So even if, if you don't work for one of those organizations, but you, you care about craft beer and the tourism and the economic uh, value that it brings, then please um, reach out and, and get engaged. Love to hear from you. Yeah, and share over a beer. Caroline Wallace, thank Absolutely. you so much. Thanks for coming on this morning. Yeah.